All right, so we really didn't do any jumping the last two rides. Um, we just did poles. And then the last ride, we did small cavalettis. So Gabby's going to set up a course today, you guys. We're going to do it. And another thing, some people are... Some people are concerned about how often we jump our horses. We ride three days a week. Not all of our rides are jumping rides. Um, but the way I post our videos, it might make it seem like all we're doing is jumping. Or the way you watch our videos, it might come up all of our jumping videos first. But look at you did it. Try. Oh, you missed your chance. He stood there for you. Good boy. Go down and walk him again so he doesn't think that every time you go up there. So the real thing here is she changed, she changed direction. No, 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 she, she's not, he's not winning. He stood there exactly like she wanted. She chose to change direction. She chose to not get on. In our course, we're learning how to deal with four different types of horses and which game will help to fix each personality. We're learning the curious horse, the scared horse, the lazy horse, and the dominant horse. So I think Penny's gonna be the dominant horse. So it's gonna be hard for me to do. You guys are gonna see it soon. When we practice it, I'm gonna play the dominant game with her, which is the quadrant game. And then, so what do you guys think? Comment below, I'm curious what you think. What do you think Storm would be? What do you think Storm's gonna be when we play the game? Lazy. You think he's gonna be the lazy horse? All right, what do you think Finn's gonna be? The best. I think Finn it might be the dominant horse. And Chino, 100% the scared horse. He's a scared horse. Don't judge you. You guys should know that Sophie read to us in the car on the way here and she did phenomenal. I was actually shook by how well she reads aloud. You want me to hold him? Gabby, can you hold him or can you? I know, but she wants to get a... Okay, so we're all waiting for Gabby. She's setting up the course. Sophie's waiting for me to help her so she can try something new to get on. I'm waiting to hold Finn, Chino. I'm waiting to hold the storm while we wait for Gabby. Who is running like a crazy woman to try and get done so that none of us have to wait. But that's another thing we learned. Like, patience is such a huge thing. You guys already know that. Like, you have to be patient with horses. You know who's not patient with her horse? She's like not even waiting for me to come and help. I told her, let me come and help you. But she decided to try and do it against the wall, which is such a good idea. So far. Also, we learned in our course to get our horse up for success. Without help, she might not be successful at this. And then he's just going to learn bad things. That's my take on it. Or she's just going to nail this thing and do it on her own and make me so proud. Job. Okay, do you want us to, do you think they want us to explain the course or just show them the course? Show. All right, let's, all right, so, all right, I'll just show you. Okay, so here is the pole, poles, yeah. Poles, poles, Cavaletti, Cavaletti. So I'm guessing that these are gonna turn into jumps, these two, eventually, but right now they're set up as poles. Gabby got right on there. Good boy. So we're going into deeper lockdown like it was in the spring. Some barns closed completely last spring. This is a really small barn, hardly any people. And hopefully we'll be able to keep it open. Um, that we just won't be able to be here like we use an app like I told you. It'll be very similar to a private barn. There will be nobody here when we're here there will be nobody like we'll have nobody with us it'll be just us and if it comes down to it we'll even have to keep our saddles and stuff in our car and talk up outside not even go into the barn just be in the arena this is like a really open arena it's similar to being outside so yeah those are the changes guys with any luck we'll be able to still ride without luck we might have to bring our horses home but we can't ride them at home anyways. So uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I think we're gonna be able to ride. Like it, there's only just a few people that ride here. So yes, don't forget it has to be uh, included with a scratch. Goodly. Goodly? 
You can't just say your yes word. You have to say it with a something that it's like a treat. So, so the other philosophy that our, the course that we're learning is has is treat, not beat. So uh, it's to offer positive reinforcement. Offer to offer a positive reinforcement instead of getting your horse in trouble. So that is another thing. So we learned to have a yes word and another word to signify that your horse, oh, I can't film and clean up poo because it's heavy. So basically we're learning to have a word. So when he does, Finn just did something that Gabby Sophie wanted, she said yes and gave him a scratch. You can't just say yes because it's not a treat for the horse. You have to say yes and give him a scratch or give him a treat, but you can't obviously give him a treat all the time. Like if you're doing something that requires all your hands and attention or you're like going fast, you can't give him a treat. So a scratch and a yes is the, is the reward. Anyways, what's shocking about the course is that a lot of it just comes naturally. A and B, I'm actually picking this stuff up. So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. So how's he moving with those shoes? I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to you're not supposed to use good boy. Yeah. So if you choose like a praise word, when you're choosing a praise word, you're not supposed to choose good boy or good girl. You're supposed to choose something else like, like yes or like whatever, like wahoo or whatever you choose. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. drive a faster car do you guys remember how i told you that i always have sympathy pains with my horses with our horses like my eyes were like so itchy and so dry a couple weeks ago and now they feel good and now my groin hurts like isn't that weird when stella was hurt my leg was was bad like i injured my leg when i try and use my leg like that it's like i have a pulled groin isn't that crazy? Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. Those lead changes. Look at he's forward today. I know. Four strides. Four strides. It's true, when people... It's true what Gabby just said. She said that you're not using enough leg. That's what usually people do when they're scared. City lights look at fire And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me Skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna.
Got to lean to the lead you want. No. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. All right, so Gabby's going to help Sophie learn to get the right lead when she lands. Watch, everybody watch Gabby. Wrong. Wrong. Don't watch Gabby. He did his own lead change. Sure, there you go. You got it. Give him his face a little, okay. Chris, release. Wrong. Okay, don't watch Gabby. Gabby be getting the wrong lead. I know, Sophie, but when you watch the video back, you'll see that you don't actually do a Chris release. Gabby yeah, but and neither does Gabby. You guys both gotta over-exaggerate it. There you go. This could be wrong lead. Oh no, it's right. I suck at landing leads. Chino, loves landing his uh, leads on diagonals. I just suck at them. You can't do five things on one hard I know, it's true. We're all screaming. I can't do any of it. I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> so the problem Sophie's having, maybe this is what I should do, explain everything that's going on so you guys understand better. I always assume you guys can see exactly what's happening. Good job, but do that lighter. Very nice. You jumped the high level, the high part. So Sophie's working on. There, beautiful. Did you get the lead? No. You can do a flying change in the front. I know, but when you ask him, he just gets very excited. Okay, so Sophie's having a hard time crest releasing and getting the right lead at the same time. So she's working on that. So that's what you guys should know. Okay. Once you land, I want you to two point. Two point for one to the right. Then slowly ease up. I don't care if you can't drift, don't care if you can't drift. He's going really slow when you do that. Oh, they're fucking in the background. Yeah. Um, slowly ease up so it's not all of a sudden. <coughs> uh oh. COVID. Just joking. No, it's like the pepper spray. Now, two point. Exaggerate. Slowly. Almost. You did it too fast. I had to change my battery. Missed a really good jump by Sophie. This might look ugly, Gabby said, but she's gonna no stir up. Whoa, that did look ugly. Woo! Yeah, he was flipping his lead. So that's something we have to watch because that could be from the new. It could be from his new shoes. He could be having to learn to like figure out. Like imagine you got brand new shoes that redist redistribute. Oh, that redistributed all your weight and everything. Yeah. So this could be from the shoes, Gabby. This could be from the shoes. Or it could be from the stirrups my leg. Yeah, but this is not like him. Like, we just got to watch and see how he does. Oh, okay. So Gabby's saying that normally she puts her weight in the stirrups, but because there's no stirrups, she's holding on to him. Normally she pushes them. Like that. Okay. All right, it was all Gabby's fault. It was all your fault. Your mom, you shouldn't do that. Oh, I'm, she knows I'm being sarcastic. Nice. Oh, maybe he likes the shoes. Good boy. Such a good boy. Did you tell small arenas and low jumps? I like big arenas, big jumps. Gabby says she hates small arenas. But and if you small jumps. And Don't small work. jumps. Just well, we can raise a jump up a bit. He hasn't jumped high in a long time. Yeah. So jump three three in a while. And if you can get your horse to ride in a small arena, then you're way ahead when you finally get out into the No, because it's causing them to slow down their stride, so they have more trouble extending because they haven't done it in a while. Oh, well that's true too.
Sometimes I think our trainers just tell us crap to shut us up. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my like I will not do that again. <laughs> I like it when they do that because after they pick up their feet. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know what's worse. The... She says she likes it when they trip because then after that they learn to pick up their feet. I don't know what's worse. The tripping or the picking up the feet. He's a smart boy. I love him. now cause I don't want to slow this down my heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you here we are right underneath the stars so let's get a little reckless you make me breathless and I won't waste this and I promise that I Okay, so this is the course now. She's got a double with a cross rail and a vertical. All right, let's see if I remember and a tired mom. said I I will stand by you forever and I won't waste it how did you feel about that Gabby Hated it. why what was he doing wrong I hate this arena I know she finds this arena really hard to ride in it's sh it's such a struggle because it's small and then there's a missing corner so it makes it even harder right I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it I'll follow you, yeah I'll follow you, yeah now cause I don't want to slow this down my heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you here we are right underneath the stars so let's get a little reckless you make me breathless and I won't waste this and I promise that I
that Sophie said it really well, what I've been trying to say to you guys lately, is that, yes, when she's doing a lot of things wrong, like when she's not criss-releasing well enough, or she's not... I know how to criss-release. Yeah. I just need to work on getting quick lead first, and then I she, can She says that she's always, like, sometimes there's so many things to work on that she's actually working on something else at the same time like she just needs to get this before she can get this and that i understand that. i think we all understand that like it's easy to watch and be like oh you didn't do this you didn't do that and you didn't do this but when you're actually learning and you're actually perfecting the things that you know you often see that he was he was shaking his head saying no he didn't want me to, to play with his hair um he she it gets overwhelming to hear all the things that you don't aren't doing well it it she is working on something specific at each time and sometimes that means that the other things that she needs to be doing will fail but eventually it should all come together you guys it should all come together once i figure out how to get the correct lead because i'm leaning into this foot a lot more that's why she needs so as she's going over the jump she's practicing not pushing down in this stirrup which means that because she's concentrating on that, she's not able to to crest release like, big, like... Yeah, if I do this and crest release, then I'm like blowing my brain up. Yeah, she's blowing up her brain. She's like a pony. She's like Finny. And I, and I love the fact... It's easy with him because it feels like you're flying. And I love the fact that you know that, Soph, that you can relate to that, that you know that when you're getting too much information at once and you only can work on one thing, it's like blowing up your brain. It's stress. Um, if um, even if your horse gets like bad striding, comment down below if you feel like you're still flying. I've only felt like I was flying a few times and it is so, so cool. All right, let's get ready to get packed up because I don't know if you guys can see that out there, but it is a blizzard. And I do not love riding in a blizzard. Don't you know that you're beautiful?